and you've been called back for a second visit. They have asked you to speak only about the ethical aspects of the problem and to explain why your solution successfully handles any ethical issues. You will have 10 minutes. There will be no questions, no question and answer period like there was yesterday. You may not use slides or video. You probably don't want to have any more than two or three members of your team do this. That's the 10 minute presentation. Then it's followed by a 90 second presentation. And it says, imagine that you are an employee of the company and you encounter an executive who asks you why sustainable development is important and how that is linked to the team's topic. You have 90 sec seconds in which to convince the executive why this needs to be addressed. One member of the team will do this. Thank you. Okay. We would like to thank you for inviting us back to speak in greater detail regarding the ethical issue related to our topic. We understand it. For this session, you would like us to provide more information to clarify the underlying reason for our recommendations to you. We hope that by the end of this recap, we'll be able to persuade you of the pressing need for action. We propose a sustainable bike line project that will generate its own electricity, both from solar panels and bikes. Solar panels will provide enough electricity to power the lights along the street, as well as other electric demands for the city. Also, generating kinetic energy from the small scale motions of the bikes will supply the power for most of the portable electronic devices. This alternative will reduce the carbon footprint, increase life quality, provide well-being, and more secure transportation for all the inhabitants of Istanbul. As you know, 15 million people reside in Istanbul today, making it the most populated city in Europe. This high population increases urbanization, industrialization, and transportation. So, as a result of increased population, public transport inadequacy occurs as one of the significant problems which uh, is the, in Istanbul and the inadequate public transport compels people to use their own vehicles, which leads to air pollution and emerge as a second major problem of the city. We know that the purpose of transportation is to move people or objects from one place to another. Although, in theory, transportation systems enhance people's physical mobility, the design of infrastructure may fail to address the specific needs of individuals who already face limitations to their physical mobility, such as the elderly and disabled people. The lack of public transport for people with disabilities is becoming more difficult than usual since people are in rush and are not sensitive to them. People stop seeing those around them because they are frequently chasing opportunities without leaving any space to think about others in crowded lives, which brings an also some ethical problem. Citizens of Istanbul have to use these crowded vehicles every day. Public transport is overly crowded, which leads to personal space violations. Also, taking so many passengers can be a pretty risky in an accident. Such a journey puts people's lives at risk. By the way, people cannot use their time efficiently. They spend too much time the waiting for the buses at the stop. So people have to wake up early in the morning and return, return to their home later than usual, usual and evening. Because of this, people come out with stress and feeling of frustration. Ultimately, the reason why an individual suffers from stress may come to the fore with the decreasing interest of individual power their physical and emotional ability day by day in the crowded big cities, apart from the environmental factors. In addition, public transport roads are usually, are usually located on main streets, so it takes time to reach one public transport, and in generally, people cannot go directly where they want with a single vehicle, and they have to transfer. The lack of infrastructure and well-developed transportation system in Istanbul caused people to spend more time in traffic. Moreover, transport appears to be one of the major sources affecting air pollution. Exhaust gas from motor vehicles, less lead and other toxic materials in the environment. While public transport is primarily used in Istanbul every day, we know that it causes a lot of damage to the air and environment. 
Exposure to these impacts pose a significant health risk for the population exposed. On, one interpretation of this concept is that there is a universal right to have a clean local environment. Also being tested with the highest greenhouse gas emissions in Turkey, Istanbul must lead to mitigation. According to the Turkish Statistical Institute, Istanbul is responsible for approximately 10% of Turkey's greenhouse gas emissions, which becomes another major problem for the city. At a wider level, transport pollution can also undermine long-term environmental sustainability and have consequences on the welfare of future generations. Motorized transportation contributes to the emissions of carbon dioxide, which is linked to climate change, such as global warming. So freedom to breathe clean air should be seen as an inalienable human right and be defended accordingly. The main point that we wish to convey is that these problems are results of practices that deviate from universal truths. An ethical intervention is necessary, not just as corrective, but as a life-giving and restorative one. These problems thus merit a response. Our proposal will collectively respond to your pressing problems, which are inadequate public transport and an increasing greenhouse gas emissions. We made sure that our proposal to you is grounded on an ethical framework. We are guided by vast fundamental human rights, and we are aligned with your vision, which as Istanbul Metropolitan Municipal you extend your vision as fair, green, and creative city, happy Istanbul. You emphasize that your core values are environmental awareness, being ethical, innovative, and people-oriented. So, the backbone of our recommendations for your community is to build a two-way cycle line as a pilot project, which will have a solar-powered roof, providing shelter from sun and rain for cyclists while generating energy. So, we offer a clean transit option that utilizes unused median space in an existing road while providing renewable energy. In this way, greenhouse gases that harm the environment and the load on public transportation will be reduced. Society will have the opportunity to use healthier and more environmentally friendly means of transportation. With our project, large crowd will choose the back bike line path since according to the survey conducted by Embark and also according to our oven survey, there is a high demand for a safe bike line. So the overcrowding in public transport will naturally decrease. The noise in public transportation will reduce as well. Personal spaces will also be preserved. With Bike and Go project, the problem will be solved without need for any additional trips and without increasing the traffic congestion. Most importantly, everyone will have an access. And according to the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, everyone has the right to equal access to public service in his country. Also, people will be safer in mobility. This will be a new transport option for people, for people in addition, the mass using the road will be freed from the dangers with security camps, lightening security guard and security guards. Meanwhile, as the public transport will also increase, people will either use the bicycle path or use public transport as the time spent in traffic will decrease. We want to prevent air pollution by looking for ways to consume less fuel or use energy resources efficiently. Whenever possible, people can make a personal contribution to the reduction of ga exhaust gas emissions by opting for bike and go project. So using our bike line will remarkably re reduce environmental pollution. Also the decrease in the number of vehicles in traffic and staying in traffic will reduce carbon emissions significantly. A comprehensive study published in the Scientific Lancet Psychiatry Journal was concluded that cycling is one of the sports that is beneficial for mental health. In times of extreme stress, our ability to work, our level of durability, our perceptions, expressions, and general well-being are negatively affected. Too much of this situation also seriously reduces the quality of life. So people who will use our bike line will feel happier because of the value they create and will become less stressed because they will meet their daily sports activities. So we propose an ethical solution for ensuring that the next generations have an environment worth living in. Our proposal is designed along with ethical principles and practices. We believe that ethical behavior and practices to create values that are for today and the future, we want to start now so that we can ensure protection to these important aspects. We believe that we will be bettering the community in the people of Istanbul if we bring sustainable means of transport to the city.
This is CityLink Consulting, and thank you for making us part of the solution.